feedback at work or even in your personal life can sometimes be a tough pill to swallow. But there is an upside. Here with tips to take it all in stride, career coach Sarah Vermont joins me. Sarah. This is a, it's a good topic. Some people are better than others at receiving um, feedback, whether it's constructive or not. And I think that it might be difficult for a lot of us just to hear something that we weren't expecting to hear or might be more sort of on the negative side. Yeah, and I think it's almost universal. So if you are in the audience right now and you happen to have in the past struggled with receiving feedback at work, just clap for me a little bit because I want to see. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Right. right. It's such a pervasive thing. And getting constructive feedback at work can feel kind of like a flashback to when you were like maybe in high school and you were getting really good grades, but you got like one B or one C and you really fixated mm -hmm. on that one area for improvement. Yeah. Um, and we tend to do that. We fixate on those areas for improvement. And it's kind of because we're doing one of two things. We're being overly sensitive about it. Now, some people say they're not sensitive and they retreat about feedback, but what they do is they get defensive. Yes. I was actually chatting backstage with someone, I won't say who, but they were saying they get very defensive about feedback. Yeah. And I had to say to them, you're defensive because you're sensitive about it. Yes. So most of us tend to be sensitive because we receive constructive feedback at work and we interpret it as, I'm not good enough. Yes. That's where the problem is, is it in the interpretation. Absolutely. Yeah. Who doesn't go through that? You hear something, you think you've been doing fine, and then someone says something and you're like, well, why have I even been putting in this work? It done, it, I'm not even doing it well. And you just feel really bad about yourself. And then yeah. there can be a myriad of responses, uh, whether it's being defensive or sort of just turning in on yourself and becoming feeling very mediocre. Yeah. Um, why is constructive feedback an important thing, especially our generation is one thing, but like what we're teaching our kids right now. Yeah. They have to learn how to take constructive feedback. Um, I feel like we grow up, grew up in a generation where our parents had no problem doling it out. <laughs> yes. And society as well. By the yeah. way, you're not that great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but now kids coming up are like, they're just hearing how great they are. So yeah. they need to also get comfortable with this. Why is it important to hear constructive feedback? It's really important and it's actually a good thing because I tend to think, if you're not screwing up occasionally, mm -hmm. you're not actually growing. Yeah. And the truth is, like, nobody knows where their own blind spots are, myself included. That's true. Like, everybody, right? Yeah. And so to have someone kindly point that out for you, kindness really matters with constructive feedback, mm -hmm. um, is actually a gift, so long as you're open to receiving the feedback. So what you should really be doing is listening without getting too attached to um, having to have everything perfect. And actually, you should be asking questions okay. when you get constructive feedback. Questions for clarification, because sometimes we get feedback and we don't quite know what the person means or how we could improve it. Mm -hmm. So the best thing you can do when you're getting constructive feedback on anything is just to sort of pause, absorb, and ask a question or two. Okay, uh, so get into it, even if it's about you and it doesn't feel good. Yeah, get which is, into it. Which is hard, right? Yeah. And so the pause part is important, right? Yes. And your little mantra can be this doesn't mean it's a judgment about me as a person. Right. This is about my work. You also say not everyone's good at receiving positive feedback either. We yeah. need to work on that. I know. Isn't that crazy? You think yes. like we love the positive feedback. But here's a question to consider. Have you ever received positive feedback or praise and like kind of like minimized it Absolutely. or even apologized for mm -hmm. it? I think especially as women, we've been socialized to believe that we're supposed to help other people shine. Yeah. So sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable when we actually get positive feedback. For example, I had a client last week who got this amazing feedback on a huge report she had done. Yeah. And she said the first thing she did was apologize for the spelling errors oh, no. and the fact that there was a little oh, no. statistic missing. No, no, no. Yeah. 